All right, let's talk about this sign right here. Um, you probably seen me post a video a week or so ago talking about how to laser a piece of cast acrylic. And um, that method worked that I used with the steel plate. But uh, someone online said that they used a different technique, so I wanted to try it out and see how it works. All right, so uh, I'll walk you through how I did it. All right, so first things first, here's my cast acrylic. You can see it's got the protective sheet on both sides to keep it protected, right? So pull pull uh, whatever side you're gonna etch on off. And then you wanna use this stuff, Art Time Tempura Paint. Uh, you can get it at Walmart. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for it. All right, I'll put a link to my affiliate account for this stuff, uh, I think it was like eight bucks for a, uh, how big this is, um, 16 ounces, all right? You don't need a lot of it on there. Uh, I will tell you, when if you paint it on with a brush, uh, it leaves kind of like streaks. So I ended up putting it on really thick with a foam brush. But uh, if you have an airbrush, you could throw this stuff in your airbrush, just maybe water it down a tad, um, spray it on. Probably be a better way of getting it on there, to be honest with you. Um, let it dry, it dries pretty quick. Again, I put it on thick, so it um, took a little longer to dry, all right? It does wash right off with water, so that's a plus. I will also tell you that um, when you put your piece down to laser it, uh, you want to mirror the image because you're going to end up flipping it over and putting it into your light stand. All right, so remove both pieces of the protective sheet that's on there. And what I would actually do also is put another piece of cast acrylic underneath this one. All right, because when it removes the paint, and you'll see in the video, when it removes the paint, um, it does etch it. But I'll show you the settings I used in Lightburn as well. Um, it goes back a second time and it actually went through my acrylic a little bit and left just a tad of like a residue on the other side. So, um, 100% sure if you just put a second piece of acrylic underneath this, when the light travels through the open area, um, it's going to go through the second piece of acrylic and bounce and then hit the bottom of the second piece and this one should be clear. All right. So, um, Show you a quick sped up video of the machine running, and then uh, then you get to see what it looks like. But I think overall it turned out better than the version I did with the steel plate. All right, and it actually ran it a lot faster too. So check it out. Feel free to pause the video here and take a look at the settings in Lightburn. These are the settings that I used. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.
Have a great day.